Station, station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. It was a busy traffic weekend for the teams in space and on the ground. Europe's fifth and final automated transfer vehicle took a fiery path back through the Earth's atmosphere on Sunday, bringing a triumphant end to its mission and an end to the European space freighter's role in supporting life in space. And without slowing things down, the Russian Progress 58 launched and docked on Tuesday, bringing more than three tons of supplies to the Expedition 42 crew. And as if they aren't busy enough, two NASA astronauts are gearing up for three upcoming spacewalks. NASA's Butch Wilmore and Terry Vert will be working outside the station to prepare the orbiting lab for the arrival of future commercial crew vehicles. They spent the week putting the final touches on their spacesuits and gathering the 764 feet of cable they'll be installing. You can check out the latest times for these spacewalks and even watch Butch and Terry live at nasa.gov ntv. This week, Antonio asked us if station astronauts can see a rocket launch from the Earth below. Well, a few lucky astronauts found out they could, as long as the station is in the right place at the right time. As you can imagine, darkness is key for the astronauts to catch a glimpse. Former Expedition crew member Rick Mastracchio was able to capture this image of a Soyuz launching from Kazakhstan, just six hours before it delivered three new crew members. Make sure to keep sending your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week.